Look at these children, and you see the future. Their country, Central African Republic, is in turmoil, but their continent is changing. African economies are growing, and Africa's entrepreneurs are increasingly successful. By 2020, Africa's consumer market will surpass China's. By 2050, Africa's population will triple, and one third of all the youth on the planet will be African. What are these people going to do? Well, the key is education. Africa has already given the world so much in music, in art, and sport. Africa gave us Mandela. Will there be another? Will there be an African Einstein? Or will there be a person or people who embody both the science of Einstein and the humanity of Mandela? With this in mind, we set up the African Institute for Mathematical Sciences in Cape Town, South Africa, in 2003. The idea was to bring aspiring young scientists from across Africa together with the best lecturers in the world. It's simplicity itself. Itself. Put them together and let the sparks fly. Ames has、uh, recruited some amazing students. There are now、uh, 570 alumni,、uh, a third of them women, and they come from 35 African countries. Each one of them has an amazing life story, and I want to tell you about two of them. This is a picture of、uh, Marcial.、Uh, he's on the left. He was born to a single parent in Cameroon, who raised six children by selling vegetables in the market. And amazingly, she managed to send all six to university.、Uh, Marcial came top in maths in the, in the country, and he came to Ames、um, to study. Well, today. Marcial is a staff scientist at Yale, and one of the leading young researchers in neglected tropical diseases. He brings powerful math to bear to understand the connection between schistosomiasis, for example, and HIV transmission. And these papers are being published in the most prestigious journals, like the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The second student is Kidist, who comes from Ethiopia, from a remote village、uh, where, the,、uh, when she was born, the infant mortality rate was 20 percent. Kidist was, was taken to Addis Ababa by an aunt in the hope of finding a better life, and she went to university and then came to Ames. While she was at Ames, and you see her second from the left, she met, she met Stephen Hawking, and、uh, helped us launch the Next Einstein Initiative. Right now, Kidist、uh, is a postdoctoral fellow in North Carolina,、uh, working on computational science, and you see her on the left at Singularity University, which some of you know well, and on the right. Winning over one of our newest supporters. Well, when we started Ames in 2003, we had a dream that Ames was for Africa, that Ames would help bring Africa into science. And we began with the centre in South Africa, but when I won the TED Prize in 2008, I wished for. A network of 15 AIM centres all across Africa, and I'm delighted to tell you today that with TED's help, that dream is coming true. We opened AIM Senegal in 2011, and here we are dancing with the Nobel Prize winner Klaus von Klitzing.、Uh, we opened AIM's Ghana in 2012 in another beautiful seaside location. AIM's, Ca- AIM's、uh, Cameroon opened last year. And had a spectacular launch two weeks ago, and Ames Tan- Tanzania will open、uh, this year, later this year, in another fantastic location. We've won support from all of these governments. Next year, we plan to hold the next Einstein Forum, 
It's a celebration of Einstein's discovery of the equations governing the universe, but even more so, it's about connecting science to humanity, and it will, it will be the Davos of science, and it will uh, take place in Africa. I want to talk a tiny bit about the future. We need to prepare Africa's young people for the future. And what will the future be? Well, it will be driven by science, and it will involve a transition from today's digital age, created by the, the exponential growth in the number of transistors you can fit on a chip. This will come to an end when transistors reach the size of an atom. And what's coming is even more amazing because we're beginning to tackle, to deal with nature on her own terms, which are quantum. We will have quantum sensors, quantum computers, computers quantum communicators, quantum electronics, which will make all of our gadgets we have today look old-fashioned. And what we have to do is to prepare Africa's youth for this future. We want to leapfrog them into the quantum world so that they can use all their creativity, their inventiveness, their initiative, their ideas to access the treasures from which all of us will benefit. Thank you very much. Um, before we go, I think there's one small surprise you have for us. There's a small surprise. In fact, there are two surprises. Uh, could you show the next slide? This is an advert. <laughs> Please join us for breakfast tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to introduce to you the real heroes of Ames. Uh, here is Kidist and Martial. Come with us. <laughs> OK. Um, um, uh, it's just so inspiring, really an amazing story to see those photos of you as kids. Um, can you, uh, first to you, Marcio, can you give us sort of a, 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 an update or tell us a little bit about the research that you're working on now? Uh, yes, uh, currently I'm working on the interaction between HIV, schistosomiasis, and malaria, which are three tropical diseases that is really causing havoc all over the continent. And there is a lot of biological and a lot of uh, epidemiological interaction between the three. And we're trying to see how in intervening in one helps to reduce the burden on the other disease on the continent. Wow. And um, in Kiddis? Yes, um, so my research is um, on fluid dynamics, it's computational fluid dynamics. So what I do is um, just model uh, fluid, um, fluid using mathematical equations. And I study also uh, interaction between fluid and uh, other things like elastic bodies and things like that, which is used in biology and chemistry and things like that. Wow. Um, and Neil, just briefly, I mean, how can we participate? I mean, if we, if we want to be part of this, what's something we could do? Um, I think uh, Ted has already made a big impact by raising the profile of Ames. And uh, so far, we have raised, I, I believe, modest, in all modesty, it's the most successful Ted wish ever. Uh, <laughs> uh, and that's thanks to you. Uh, Ames has now raised approaching $70 million, um, mostly for scholarships. Uh, we support all of our students on scholarships. For those of you who can afford it, for $10,000, you can change somebody's life by giving them a one-year scholarship at an Ames Center. Um, and I think uh, Martial and Kidist will tell you this totally changed uh, their life and their aspirations. I mean, to tell you about these people a little more, I mean, Marcial volunteers to go to Brazil twice per year to teach in the barrios of the slums uh, in Brazil because he wants to help uh, kids. And Kidistas goes back and forth to Ethiopia and just told me she wants to go back there and to start a new form of education that will be more suitable for young people in Ethiopia than the traditional kind of factory, sc factory style schooling which we have all over the world, mm -hmm. and particularly in Africa. 
So these are the ideas which are coming out of our alumni, and I honestly believe that with with the hundreds and thousands of alumni who will now come through Ames, we will just change the terrain of African development. Neil, Marcial, Kittis, thank you so much. So inspiring. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.